Hey everybody, so in this video we are going to do an ab workout together and um, see if we can just work our cores, get our energy up a little bit here and um, just get that boost of exercise. Just having those small bursts can be very helpful and effective. So we're going to do things for time, so just follow along with me. I'll offer modifications along the way. So let's get started. Um, the goal is to go ahead and do things for about a minute a piece. So if you need to rest through the remainder of the time interval, that's totally fine. Okay, so first movement is going to be a plank hold. So different options, we can do our high plank. By the way, time has started, so go ahead and follow along here. Feel free to come down to the knees. You can come down to elbow plank, whether that's on the knees or even on the toes, we're 15 seconds in. Again, always feel free to drop down if you need to early. Make sure you're breathing. Think of core, shoulders, arms, chest, all plugged in. We're halfway there. Still breathing. Cores are tight. Use your breath to help you along the way. 15 more seconds to go. Less than 10, we're almost there till we get to switch. And for three, two, one, rest. Dropping down, good job. So catch your breath, make sure you breathe. We're gonna switch gears and come around to our spine. So we're gonna combine a regular crunch with a reverse crunch. So we come down to our backs here. We'll do hands behind the head. We're gonna crunch up and then crunch back opposite way. Just like that. Up and reverse. Keep it going. Halfway through. You want to think of breathing in and out with each rep. And so I've mixed up the variations a little bit here with that reverse crunch. You can simply pull the legs in. Just for future reference, if you want that challenge, you can do that little butt lift at the top as well. Five more seconds for three, two, one, good, rest. Okay, so switching gears again, we're gonna come back around to plank and we're gonna do some shoulder taps. And so you're welcome to complete these from the toes or from the knees. And begin, so it's a plank position. We're just gonna tap those alternate shoulders. Again, you can always Come down to the knees, just make sure that your spine is flat, that you've got that 45 degree angle. If you take that modification, that way you're still working your core. So tight shoulders, tight core. We're breathing the whole time. We're keeping the integrity of the form. Keeping a pace that's doable for us, even if that's not my pace, that's okay. We want to think quality over quantity. If our form starts to suffer, that's when maybe we drop it down to the knees. That's totally okay. Got about five more seconds. For three, two, one, and finish. Good job. Catch your breath a little bit here. About two more exercises to go. So we're getting closer. We're gonna come back around to our spines and we're gonna do scissor kicks with our legs, just moving up and down. So think of keeping your lower back, lower back pressed into the ground. You can use your arms or hands underneath that small of the back to fill in any space for support you might need. All right, let's get set up here. Remember, arms behind you for support is needed. I'll be periodically checking the time. You see my arm come out from underneath. But yeah, just like that. 
So think of using the entire core. You're especially going to feel it in the lower abdominals. And as far as when we lower down, you're only going to lower to your range of motion that you can avoid low back pain, a level that you can come down safely at to where your low back isn't wanting to lift off the ground. We're more than halfway there. Breathing. Staying connected with the breath here. Got 10 more seconds. Finishing strong. For three, two, one. Good job. So we're catching our breath here still. And from this point, we're gonna go ahead and work our way up to standing. So finishing out our last movement really strong, I'm gonna give you the option to use dumbbells, if so, maybe anywhere from like one to three pounds, nothing too heavy. You can always use your canned goods if you've got those handy at home. Or you can just simply do fists and punch. So I'm going to use the dumbbells and we're just simply going to punch from right to left. So it's a bit of a strength and cardio exercise, but we want to think of the strength and movement coming from our core. So get your props in place and Let's go ahead and start. So keep it strong. You're breathing, pivoting with each punch. Core is engaged. It's not relaxed, it's not lazy, it's active. Almost halfway through. If your props become too heavy, just set them down and switch to this. No big deal. We're more than halfway there. Almost done. Hey, and if this isn't enough, you can always watch it again and repeat it for another round or as many as you need. Okay, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good job. Go ahead and get yourself a drink 